I feel like a lot of people have those same stories uh, that I do and most everybody does of, you know, maybe heading in a path that wasn't the best for them, you know, and then skateboarding transformed pretty much everything for them and it became their main focus. The original idea behind the shop was trying to merge my passions in life, which were skateboarding and art together. My name's Rob Sebrill, and I'm the owner here at Push Skate Shop. I always think of skateboarding as an art more than a sport, even though it does have like the athletic part of it. Because of the way that we view the world, especially street skateboarding, which is where I came from and a lot of us came from. It came about by like being able to look at things in your natural environment in a city or something like that and think about them in a different way and how you can utilize that with your skateboard. It's always appealed to maybe outcasts or you know people that don't necessarily fit in in other areas. Skateboarding's always kind of been a refuge for for those people. Most people don't understand. Skateboarding's always been one of those things that's looked down upon in society. It's kind of viewed differently than most other positive activities, I would say. For instance, skateboarding's illegal in Asheville, and I spent a good bit of time trying to get it legalized for transportation, and I lost in city council, and uh, I went to a vote, and yeah, we lost. So that's a good example of how misconceived it is. My argument for it being a legal form of transportation was just that there's no reason that this one form should be outlawed while all others are allowed. At the same meeting, they were adopting a program for green forms of transportation. At the same time, they were blocking people from skateboarding. So they equate transportational skateboarding with damage to property. That's in their minds. They can't take those two, even though it was a four wheels down policy we were going for. So it was just literally point A to point B skateboarding. They, uh, they were like, well, this opens the door for, oh God, we're gonna run over old ladies or whatever they think. They view skateboarders and skateboarding in a different light than they view other forms of transportation. So they allow one and outlaw the other. It's really started, I think, through the 80s, like is where it came from. And then it just, that mindset just, just lasted all the way, even though it's about to become an Olympic sport. It's still, <laughs> you can't ride it down the street. <laughs> Asheville's a little smaller, so at times there's less for the police and people to, to deal with, so skateboarding was kind of like an easy target to like hassle us because there's not as much going on. I'd like to see more people out street skating and stuff and not be so, you know, weary of doing that because it, of it being illegal. 2018 is like, it's time for that to change and that stigma and stuff to be let go, especially in Asheville to have Pubsicles and have people like drunk riding around bikes and peeing traffic and all these different things for that to be like largely accepted and okay. But I can't skateboard from you know say where I park to the front door of the shop or something. I could be given a ticket. The foundation has been pretty amazing to watch, especially from my perspective, someone who grew up here skating my entire life in and around Asheville to see how it's brought the community together and it has given us this one place to go and kind of meet and hang out and to be allowed to be creative and come up with ideas that what we want to build or what people want to paint and be able to work together and do that all in like one shared community space is pretty awesome to see and it just helped skateboarding grow so much in Asheville. There's a lot of folks that have moved here over the past few years as a result of the foundation existing and it's such a good place to skate. People are definitely traveling from all over the country here just to skate there and visit it. And what's interesting there is it's like for a skate park it's as true to actual skateboarding as a skateboard park can be and it's kind of like a good mix of both where you get the actual elements of real street skating and you're getting to build your own things and you know, it's a safe space where you're allowed to do it. I would tell people that, you know, open your mind to pay attention to who's actually out there skateboarding these days and don't be so swayed by the media and 
old movies and things of that sort that always <laughs> cast the skateboarder as the punk. 